In this week's In Search Of report, we have this story about overcoming obstacles, and it comes from the small community of Black River Falls. The high school there recently started a trap shooting team, and there is one student that didn't let anything stand in the way of being a part of that team. Take a look. Paul. Bam! What? If confidence and determination could somehow be measured. Shoot two more. We got to see if it's dumb luck or skill. 15 year old Sonny Ruffholmes huh? would be off the charts. All right, now you're dropped, huh? It wasn't luck, Scott. <laughs> but truth be told, confidence and determination have never been the problem. Prior to her birth, we had no knowledge that there was anything wrong. Um, once she was born, our world was changed forever. I saw her and I went, ooh, something's wrong. A few days after her birth, Sunny was diagnosed with Vodder syndrome, a condition that can come with a long list of birth defects. Thankfully, she had a mild case of it. She has, her primary issues were with her spine and with her left arm and wrist. In her first few years of life, Sunny went through several surgeries to straighten her back and increase her motor skills. They had said that she would have limited flexion and extension, but we learned early on, this girl was gonna defy all the odds. And as the years went by, Sunny met every challenge with that good old Sunny determination. She really has been an inspiration to others. She doesn't think that. But she has. I mean, even from a young child when she started school, she never wanted to be treated different. Never. Basic kinds of things for kids, they were tougher for her, but she wanted to be like the other kids. And she would adapt and figure out a way to do it herself. Trying to figure out different ways to do things, like softball, basketball, and tying shoes. <laughs> So when the Black River Falls High School announced they were adding a trap shooting team last year, Sonny, who has grown up hunting and shooting, wanted to learn more. Uh, Sonny and your dad uh, came to the team meeting there, and after it was done, Sonny definitely wanted to be part of the team. We started the process. Sonny's left arm is significantly shorter than her right and not as versatile as yours or mine. Oh. So the process involved figuring out a way for her to accurately and quickly shoot the gun. What Sonny wasn't able to do was to control the form of the shotgun. That's where NASA, the North American Squirrel Association, comes into play. The organization helps physically challenged and the elderly recreate. Once we found out what she needed, I went down and talked to NASA, which is based out of La Crosse. And I said to Scott, I said, well, let's get her a gun, let's get it fixed up and so she can shoot. NASA presented Sunny with a check for an adaptive gun to work with this brace. Swivels. How they just took over and they made it their mission to get this to work for Sunny. Of course, I started to cry. <laughs> When she first started, it was hard to watch as a yeah. pair because she wasn't breaking any clay targets. I knew I was going to miss that one. <laughs> and now she's, she's probably at about close to 50% on sporting clays, which is, it's a tough sport. After uh, we'd got the device made for her so she could shoot the shotgun, Pull. Uh, it was game on after that. All we had to do was give her the tools. She had the driving ability to do it after that. Pull. As a dad uh, that's I've been an avid sports outdoorsman to see his daughter gain independence in loading her gun and unloading her gun, safely walking through the woods, oh. safely going through the sporting clays. It just brings so much pride for me to have her be able to do that. So I can't thank NASA enough. NASA has been like great and they have really improved my love for hunting and shooting moving targets and I have a new like mentor now, Steve Earp. That is the prettiest black pheasant I've seen. He took up me and my dad on a pheasant hunt and that was amazing and fun. She's just one of those uh, personalities that no matter what's in front of her, She's going to take care of the problem. Go. 
I got it at the last shot. I've been into shooting sports and shooting my whole life and doing instructing. And if you think of what she's gone through to do the sport that we take for granted, there you go. just makes you see that she's just inspiring. <laughs> I can't imagine our life any differently. Sunny has made us look at life a lot differently and appreciate little things. You may not be able to measure confidence and determination, but this girl named Sunny certainly sets the bar. In Black River Falls with photographers John Schmidt and Alex Costello, Jennifer Livingston, News 8. You know, even when you're the most determined person, sometimes there are setbacks. And in the middle of her trap season last year, she had been experiencing a lot of pain in her wrist. It was mm. so bad that uh, that um, she would just spend days coming home from school and, and tearing up. And they figured out a way to fix her hand. Um, but she had to cut the season short last year and uh. have surgery on her hand. But uh, the pain went away. And they're hopeful that that will be the last surgery that they will need. And uh, Sunny and her coach are both uh, pretty confident that this year she can make it to state possibly nationals wow. so Good it's just her. so impressive uh, to see how far she's coming I would not bet against her <laughs>